Okay, welcome back, comrades. So, we will be needing to deal with this. Oh, shit, he is big one, isn't he? Luckily, he is not very smart. Now, German. This will need to be upgraded. Also, there is slug farm up ahead. We should use this. <coughs> we will need all food that we can get. Now though, we have reinforced walls. We have tire barricades, and barbed wire, and flashbangs, and big walls, with cement mixed in. And we will also want to... Yes, we can finally move into projectile ballistic weapons. But it will take time. Uh, we will be going for the industry. We need the scrap, comrades. We cannot stress this enough. We will need the scrap. Sure, it will mean we must produce more vodka, but vodka is not all too hard to come by. Scrap, on the other hand, is needed in copious amounts. Okay, Lev. Okay, we have room for additional soldier. Yes, and we can be making shields. But we will not be doing this right now. We will set up field kitchen. Or not. Okay, comrades, make sure you are good and healed up. We still have wall to defend. idea to push ahead. Maybe. I am unsure as of yet. Cost four, and then we need to upgrade really. Hmm. But we need to push forward. We must. This will likely be additional house. Which means more volunteers. Which means we can hold walls even better. No, not, not you, Constantine. You are with me. You and your uh, new friend here will be. T well, you will be unpacking much needed supplies. <coughs> of 
course we will not need to push forward yet from this we are yet to even fully upgrade our current tents but it's still worth paying for additional scrap this is true right scrap to upgrade this. In the meantime you can help Constantine work on the gun shop. But we will be needing more scrap soon. This cannot wait. I'm just unsure as to where the hell we will get it. Already? Shit. This is good news. Now we will be able to defend much better. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Left wall is holding. Okay. Just. We are making it, but only just. <coughs> and we are out of scrap. <laughs> okay, comrades, wait there, I will be back. If you are no longer doing work, then I will have new job for you, Covenant. You will be defending war. But, if I am right, we should just about be able... Yes. To rebuild this wall with scrap. Hmm. We will need one of you here. And yes, this this will be fine. Well done, Conrad. Well, this is the last of our food. 
try not to eat all of it too quickly. We will... hmm... We will position you on western front wall. And then we will need to rebuild eastern front wall. But now with turrets and gunmen, it should not be a huge problem keeping walls well defended. And also, in future now, when we are to get... Christ, this still not respond. Ugh, how is a man meant to eat these days? So, in future, we will mostly be sending uh, sending train cart in order to gather supplies, not necessarily new troops. We will have field kitchen in order that to replenish forces when dead. Yes, it will also... It will also save us having to send hand cart, but again, we need the scrap. It's worth trading the food for it. As long as we have it, that is. I mean, what else will we spend food on? <laughs> okay, comrades, get the shit back. Box. I fear this may be it, comrades. To deal with these siege cannon enemies, these bomb firing bugs, we really need this. We will need sniper, but yes, duh. Maybe we go sniper first next time, not stalker. I do sometimes wish there were checkpoints here. Would be beneficial. Now, honestly, we may as well pack in. We do not have scrap and food to repair. And because houses were destroyed, we no longer have population or capacity to replenish troops cannot even heal because barrel is out. Oh shit, a ghost. We cannot even get our bonus from concrete factory anymore.
what would this do for supplies? Does this make more tramps come faster or what? I am somewhat unsure. Ah, we have scrap. Comrades, I have a job for you all. We may have enough to rebuild. But again, it is to rebuild. Then what? We are unfortunately in death spiral now. We do not have enough material. We have enough materials to rebuild, but not expand. Each night will get harder. And as a result, as a result of each night becoming more difficult, We will most likely lose future battles, and each day new supplies will be spent on re will be spent on rebuilding, not expanding. Slowly but surely, we are then pushed back. This is not good. What we really need is new volunteers. Shit, it's night time already. You see problem. Yes. Unfortunately, it seems we have lost this day. But we will endeavor to win next time. to look again at the drawing board here. What have we got as well? Bit of law. Medical personnel are looking for the origin of the new virus and analysing its projected spread. It has not been proven yet whether any connection exists between the disease and the purple fog. People are advised to use respir respiratory protection. So, yeah. Anyway, um, we need a way of killing those bomber bugs at the back. The only thing I can really think of is um, probably getting the snipers perhaps next time. Um, I might see if I can find some strategies for this. Have a little look online, maybe read up some on some guides or forum posts or whatever. And but. Yeah, it's. I seem to be. That said, we 13 on harder difficulty than last time. I think going into the new difficulty, that's a pretty decent run. Um, but yeah, we'll want to, in future, probably look into the snipers earlier rather than later. Um, definitely rushing that ventilation shaft early is 
probably the best idea. Also, I'm beginning to think, even though it helps to have layered defences, because, I mean, as we found at the end there, you you tend to lose that outside wall unless you are doing exceptionally well. Um, it may be beneficial to actually not necessarily re upgrade every single wall and yeah perhaps so by not upgrading every single wall we can save that bit of scrap and perhaps get uh, snipers earlier and the generator upgraded I'll have a look see if I can maybe think of a few things but I think we, we seem to be getting the we seem to be pulling at, at the threads of this I think eventually we're going to get somewhere but again um, yeah it, it seems at the moment hmm yeah and I'm still I, I would still say that it's I think the game is probably it seems to be balanced around a difficulty level that's a bit too high I mean as far as I'll, I've said it before and I'll say it again, it's look, if you're going to do a roguelike, you know, uh, Returnal had the same problem with this. Roguelike length, because you, a lot of people, if you ask them about how long a roguelike should be, they'll tell you about, rough, you know, roughly about an hour. Um, not necessarily a hard rule that, you can have much, much, much longer roguelikes, but I tend to find that the amount of length, the amount of time you're willing to put into a roguelike run and you know this has permanent death and you start again from the beginning it is it has roguelike elements at the very least the amount of time people are willing to put into a permanent death run on a roguelike is directly proportional to how good its meta progression system is I've been playing the last spell it, it lasts for literally a run can be two hours or more and I'm, I'm only getting about half I've gone about a bit over half going to like two thirds of the way through now on the first area I'm getting I'm getting there but the meta progression system is absolutely top-notch it's phenomenal so I don't mind that I'm doing two hours worth of uh, playing two hours of the game and then it's just getting thrown down the toilet because I come out of it and then buy three or four new upgrades that completely change uh, how well I can do in the game you know I come out of it and it's like oh hey here's uh, here's some reinforced walls three new armor sets and a new catapult you can build you know whereas with this I come out of it and it's like hey you don't get to unlock anything and if you do want to unlock something you have to survive for even longer on a hard difficulty because screw you apparently hmm. well thank you very much hmm. it, it definitely shouldn't be tied to a difficulty I'll say that much the surviving 18 days absolutely should not be tied to a difficulty right, the unlocks really should not be and I would almost say in roguelikes that the best way to do them is to almost make it like the the meta progression should massively help you on future runs I tend to find I, I think the best way of doing the meta progression is kind of the rogue legacy approach where eventually you will get through the game because there's that much meta progression it just makes it incredibly easy by the end but because you're constantly playing new runs while you're getting there it, it just means that eventually everyone will beat it and the game only needs one difficulty but eventually through the meta progression it will become easy your skill just determines how quickly you get there um, kind of like you know how Dark Souls does difficulty Dark Souls simultaneously the hardest and easiest game available because it's all centered around one difficulty there's not multiple ones and that mu that one difficulty is incredibly hard but you can just keep going and grinding out souls until you eventually get you know so leveled that you just one shot everything you can eventually do that 
the game will eventually become an absolute cakewalk if you keep trying but because you're always trying to push on the next area and you're not necessarily always ready it feels harder even though it will eventually give way you know if you keep headbutting the wall you begin to see cracks it, it's I think honestly one of the better ways to do difficulty in these sorts of games and I'd, I would hope that the developers maybe take note of that I think it's one of the big reasons why this between that and the fact that there's no save system it's one of the big reasons I think this feels more like an early access title rather than uh, a finished uh, product the, the difficulty is just all over the place it's just really not balanced very well I find but who knows maybe I'll have some kind of epiphany moment and then you know after beating it on the hardest difficulty be saying oh well it wasn't, wasn't that hard anyway I don't know what I was complaining in the, in the first place who knows but until then thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one again hopefully I can figure out my way around it I'm gonna maybe see if I can see some people playing through this get a bit of an idea and a handle on exactly what I'm not quite doing right because I'm clearly I must be allocating some resources slightly incorrectly near the beginning you know there must be a way around this we'll find out anyway I'll see you in the next one.